Alright, welcome back to Divinity Original Sins 2, Honor Mode Plus Run, twice the enemies, one quarter of the XP. We have, um, yeah, a little bit carelessly entered one of the combats, which we want to uh, remediate. In order to do that, we luckily had Civil and Lowe's being out of combat for now. We are going to buff Saiken with a ton of extra buffs before he enters. Seville buffs herself and is then going to enter and I think that's pretty much how the combat is going to go down. Nice it wow! Wait a second. That was just the entry shot, okay? Barret shot for 530 plus 1300 um, and uh, 66, uh, 62 damage. Wow. Wow. That is immense. Okay, so she, she's almost dead. Ironic. Let's move over here and make sure that we get the Magister's Inquisitor. Critical hit, knockdown, very good. So these guys, apparently there are a couple more, the Troller, Marksman, and, and so on and so forth. I am not worried about it. I feel at that stage the party has more, more than once taken on 30 plus enemies, so I wouldn't exactly know why they would be in trouble with a couple of uh, the Magisters. Matter of fact, bam! They can start fighting the Incarnate, who by the way has a solid 1400 hit points plus each or more, and that's non-buffed. Yeah, their reactive shots definitely are not going to help here. Oh, that was one of the things that I've forgotten. Um, the range of first eight has been improved, and I think that was um, a good change in the patch as well. It was super small, so they improved it just slightly. Still same functionality. Very, very good in my opinion. Okay, so we're not close enough yet for some of the fireballs, so what we're going to do instead is we're going to use elemental affinity just to reduce all of the casting costs by one. And shall we buff some more? Actually, we don't need it at the moment, so might as well not do it. Okay, let's start. It is Lowe's turn, and why exactly can't she target this guy here, the Inquisitor on the floor? Yes, no, maybe? Okay. Hmm. 
one solid hit and she's going to kill him. There we go. Two extra action points. And she's even out of combat. Wow, that doesn't that doesn't make any sense. Sibyl is also out of combat. You can't you can't get out of combat mid combat. That doesn't make any sense. Are you telling me that Sibyl is now out of combat and she can freely shoot at these guys? Really? I am very, very certain that that was not implemented or that was not happening before the patch. Whatever, I will accept it. Doesn't necessarily make the whole fight much more difficult. So apparently we're allowed to freely buff everyone here. Which is kind of ridiculous if you think about it. During the combat, getting out of combat and like resetting all of the skills is exactly what, um, what a mage would love to do. Because with that, like you can just to begin to spam your uh, cooldowns, modify the terrain over here. There you go. Okay, whatever. Apparently, that's fine by uh, by the standards of that game now. We will continue with the actual in-game fight. Because luckily for us, a couple of our teammates seem to be still in combat. We're going to retreat a little bit because I I really want the others to be in combat. But this year doesn't even make any fucking sense. Well, talking about a, a text of opportunity, this guy had a hard time. Now, I could just run in and berserk them down, but instead, let's just move away and wait for them to come. Common mistake um, in uh, in placement on, on the map is running into uh, AI on high ground. If you've watched uh, the series so far, then I'm pretty sure that you're aware that would be a very, very bad idea. So it's kind of as, as always, you don't want to run into them. Now we're going to save the source points here. This is an easy fight. It doesn't even require any source points. So they are now going to move. Do pity damage. I mean, they're hitting for 200 and 300, which is nothing on the incarnate at the moment. And from high ground, we're hitting for 1600. Mind you, this is not a lone wolf run. This is just normal Divinity Original Sins. And these guys, they should be on, a, uh, on our level. Well, a little bit lower. They are level 13, which might explain why the fights are so incredibly easy. Good. Finally, we re-entered combat, because apparently that's a thing now. Three shots, really, really nice, and we'll get some extra AP. 
whom of them can... Uh, is there a possibility to one-shot someone? I think we can kill this guy here. There you go, 2007 critical hit. <laughs> that is disgusting. I love it. I don't want to move too far with him because effectively then they won't come. They will retain their position. Yeah, we can't reach them from here, but I think it's fine. Can't teleport him, so might as well just run up. And explode into his face. What exactly is he trying to achieve? He's putting a reactive shots in an area where there hadn't been any enemy and then he's charging in head first. Wow. I'm telling you guys, the AI in these uh, fights sometimes is pathetic. He's just trying to survive. I bet you that this guy here is not going to make it. The archer is almost dead. And yeah, now the Inquisitor decides to charge in as well. There you go, he gets one spell off. Rain, make it rain, my friend. Nice. That was a well-invested turn. Good job, buddy. Lost his weapon, was knocked down, but he made all of them wet. Well, not too shabby, way to go, Magister. Oh, he said one HP, really? Okay, whatever. The there we go, straight up yet another kill. I think at that stage the enemy has really given up. Except for this guy, he's he's the tryhard of the team. Everyone else is like, okay, whatever.
Oh, f oh fuck, I forgot. Uh, she still has magical armor on her. So, there you go. Physical damage. Oh no, 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 don't even enter the combat. Guys, seriously, just stay back. There you go, and there you go. Done. Easy. Yeah. The fights are going to be harder over time, but so the entry, uh, entry fights apparently aren't, we are over leveled for them, which is one of the things that I wanted to prevent, but uh, we, had, uh, we had moved to other areas first. So, I guess it was the natural reaction. The next, there are going to be some follow-up fights, though, which are against higher level enemies. So yeah, there's an underground passage, like leading right into it, if you don't want to fight them. I wanted to fight them, so for us it doesn't matter. And I think there hadn't been anything else in here. No, not really. Good. Which means now we're coming to the largest fight. Uh, just from the sheer amount of participants. Might take a while when we're now going through it. With uh, twice the amount of enemies, it, it actually might take some time. And you know what? We're going to do that in the next video. Alright, see you in a second.